Saginus oedipus, cotton-top tamarin, is a little New World monkey that weighs less than 0.5 kilograms. This New World monkey has a lifespan of up to 24 years, however the majority of them die around the age of 13 years. The cotton-top tamarin is one of the tiniest primates, with a long, white sagittal crest running from its forehead to its shoulders. The arboreal and diurnal species may be found in tropical forest borders and secondary forests in northern Colombia. Insects and plant exudates are among its favorite foods, and it is a significant seed disperser in the tropical ecology. The cotton-top tamarin engages in a wide range of social activities. Only dominant partners reproduce in groups, which constitute a distinct dominance order. The female usually has twins and employs pheromones to keep the other females in the group from reproducing. The high amount of cooperative care, as well as altruistic and spiteful actions, of these tamarins have been thoroughly investigated. Cotton-top tamarin communication is complex, including indications of grammatical organization, which is a language element that must be learned. Before 1976, when sites awarded cotton-top tamarins the highest degree of protection and forbade all international commercial traffic, it is estimated that up to 40,000 cotton-top tamarins were caught and shipped for use in biomedical research. The cotton-top tamarin is now threatened by habitat loss on a vast scale, with the lowland forest in northern Colombia where it lives having been reduced to 5% of its historical size, with just 6,000 individuals. Surviving in the wild, it is categorized as severely endangered and one of the world's rarest primates. The cotton-top tamarin belongs to the Calatricidae family of monkeys, which includes marmosets and tamarins, and weighs on average 432 g. Its head, body length ranges from 20.8 to 25.9 cm, while its non-prehensile tail is from 33 to 41 cm. The male and female are of identical size and weight, hence, the species is not sexually dimorphic. All digits of members of the Calatricini subfamily, including this species, have sharp nails, teguli, with the exception of the big toes, which have flat nails like other primates. Teguli, which resemble a squirrel's claws, aid with tree mobility. The cotton-top tamarin has a long sagittal crest, which runs from the forehead to the neck and over the shoulders, and is made up of white hairs. The skin on the face is black, with gray or white undertones. Except for the palms of the hands and feet, the eyelids, the margins of the nostrils, the nipples, the anus, and the penis, the cotton-top tamarin has fur covering the whole body. The back is dark, with whitish-yellow underparts, arms, and legs, reddish-orange on the rump, inner thighs, and upper tail. The fur density varies throughout the body, with lower densities in the genital area, scrotum and pubic zone, axilla, and base of the tail, and higher densities in the forward region. Many people have brightly colored stripes or whirls of fur on their necks, on its forehead and around its lips, the cotton top possesses whiskers. The cotton top tamarin can only be found in northwest Colombia, between the Cauca and Magdalena rivers to the south and east, the Atlantic coast to the north, and the Atrato River to the west. They are only found in Colombia, and 98% of their natural habitat has been destroyed. The cotton top tamarin used to be able to live across the area, but owing to habitat loss due to deforestation, it now only exists in fragmented parks and reserves. The Paramillo National Park, which covers 460,000 hectares of primary and secondary forest, is one of the most significant sites for the cotton top. From wet tropical forests in the south to tropical dry forests in the north, the cotton top tamarin may be found in both main and secondary woods. It is rarely found over 400 meters, but has been seen as high as 1,500 meters. It likes tropical forests. Lower levels, but it may also be seen feeding on the ground and between the understory and the canopy. It can adapt to forest fragments and thrive in settings that are moderately disturbed. Seasons are distinct in the dry woodlands. Between December and April, it is dry, but between August and November, there is considerable rainfall, which can flood the forest floor. Annual rainfall ranges between 500 and 1,300 millimeters over its region.